Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. It uh, wasn't too long ago when we shared the link of our top 10 Google Chrome apps. We also recorded a corresponding video, and now we followed that up with our top 10 choices for Google Chrome extensions. There's a difference. Uh, a Google Chrome app is like, uh, think of it like a web page that is just one click away from within Google Chrome, and an extension is really uh, a plugin that might uh, be able to help you do something special on one web page or another, any web page. So there are uh, fundamental differences between a Google Chrome app and a Google Chrome extension. You are more than welcome to share your top choices here or in the article that we wrote, the corresponding article to this video, like we do for just about every one of the videos uh, that we record here uh, on uh, YouTube, specifically in conjunction with LockerGnome.com. So uh, some of our top choices, and you're free to disagree or agree, most if not all of Google Chrome's apps or extensions are free, so it's not a really a, a big deal uh, you know, what you choose to use. Uh, for instance, LastPass. This is uh, the choice of Creighton Miller, who had crafted this article, for helping you manage passwords. Now, if you, you like LastPass, that's great. Personally, I am a huge 1Password fan. In fact, I think I even got it. It's shareware, and I think I have a coupon for 1Password. So if you're thinking about using 1Password over LastPass, I can save you money. Uh, so you don't want to buy it without you know, asking, hey, Chris, how can you save me money? People do that all the time. I mean, some things you, you have to pay for, and they're they're worth paying for. Uh, if you're not familiar with Bitly, that's B-I-T dot L-Y, it's probably, at this point in time, the most popular link redirector on the planet. Like a short link that you could easily post to Twitter so that you don't go over the character limit. I happen to use uh, one that we installed on our own, uh, go.tagjag.com, because I wanted to make sure I controlled that domain and had uh, better access to statistics. statistics can't even say it. Statistics. Well, Bitly has a, a, a simple way that you can add the little plugin or the extension to Google Chrome, press a button, and it'll create a short link for the page that you're sitting on. Another thing to correspond with the Bitly extension is the Google Plus One button. I recommend in installing this, as I mentioned in yesterday's video clip, uh, why you should be Plus Oneing uh, pages, videos, articles. Uh, you should be Plus Oneing everything. And you don't have to hunt for the plus one button on the web page, you can just install this extension and just press plus one when you like something and publicly share it to Google Plus if you don't do that yet. You want to test it? Fine. On this video page, install the extension and then go press the button and it's plus one. That's it. It's so simple. It's right there. It's always there. It doesn't take anything to do, really. And that will help Google deliver you more relevant search results over time when it starts to build up a profile about the things that you tend to plus one. And hopefully you think the articles that we produce for you on LockerGnome.com as well as the videos we do for you on, on uh, YouTube are worth sharing, absolutely. Another uh, Google Chrome extension that we are recommending in our top 10 list is turn off the lights. So um, sometimes you want to watch a YouTube video and that's all you want to watch. You don't want to even want to pay attention to the comments. Uh, well, with this extension, you can pretty much eliminate everything on a page except for the video, turning off all the lights except for what should be illuminated, the video. Uh, this is an extension. You can install it right now. It's really kind of it's kind of easy. Uh, then, of course, there's Google Voice. If you're not already using that, it is free to use, at least here in the United States, uh, to communicate with people. Uh, I use Google Voice all the time when I'm in the air, and if I need to text message with people on the ground, I can do that for free. I never really use Google Voice for calling anybody, which I realize you can do, uh, but it's, it's not as, as big of a deal. Uh, another one we recommend, uh, and this is something that you're probably interested in because we all like gifts, including myself, add to Amazon wish list. This is how I know uh, Diana built up her wish list because she'd be on a website. And even if the item is not listed on Amazon, you can still add it to your Amazon wish list. It's, it's kind of a universal wish list repository. My wish list, go.tagjag.com slash wish list. You cannot put items on my wish list. But of course you can. You can give me an item or two. That'd, that'd kind of be nice. Some of you have done that before. There's so many others we have to recommend on this particular article. And, and I'm sure... Uh, your responses are, are going to be plentiful uh, as well. Uh, let's see here. Uh, fastest Chrome. This was for the win much. That was a suggestion from the live video feed. 
Uh, plus one, every single article on Locker Gnome says Identicali. Thank you so much. Text Plus is an awesome texting app for free. This was noted here by uh, Jarrett Nintendo Nerd. Uh, let's see here. Oh, good. This isn't a Rickroll, says Windows Tech Talker. I warned you. I said it, this wasn't a Rickroll. If you wanted a Rickroll, you could look elsewhere, I think. Uh, see here. I'm looking for any other recommendations that people might have, that those who are watching the live video feed, at least, and, and hopefully there are plenty uh, watching. And if not, you can tune in you know, for the next uh, live video feed that we do, TLDR, every day, 3 p.m. Someone needs to make an extension for Google Chrome that lets you know, hey, here's the upcoming list of live TLDR episodes. Here's the next one. They can build in the thing a little countdown timer for the next live episode as it's scheduled. That'd be kind of neat. So you can be in your browser and see, oh, and, it, and then it turns red. I'm like, you know, it's 10 minutes and, and, and it's TLDR live. And then you can press the button and it pops open in a new tab and then you can see the episode. That'd be a neat extension, don't you think? Yeah. And then maybe you could put the RSS feed for Locker Gnome in there as well, so it's kind of a, you know, a way to tune into the live stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That'd be, I don't know. We could play with it. I'm not a developer, though, so I, I could only come up with the ideas. I've got a lot of ideas for really good extensions, too. Oh, take a look at the article.